Hey! So a few weeks ago I posted a before and after of gua sha where I really focused on skin texture on a client and I got so many DMs about this. So to answer all of your questions about how to specifically use gua sha to work on skin texture, um, that is what we'll talk about today for Tutorial Tuesday with Wildling Beauty. So one of the key factors to working on texture that I've found in my practice over doing literally thousands of gua sha facials is the angle of the tool. So I teach that we use the, the tool pretty flat as it is, or about a 15 to 45 degree angle. So let's see. So it's sort of in between like here and here. So we kind of want all of this surface area to be touching the skin, to be in contact with the skin. When we're focusing on skin texture, I make it even more flat. So I actually want the entire surface of the tool to be making contact with the skin. And I'm holding it sort of down here. If you're doing it further up, you know, it would be a little bit more challenging. But there are mostly ways that you can hold the stone so that you get a ton of surface area in contact with the skin. So that's number one. Really, really, really flat with the stone. Number two, anchoring. So we want to get that magical little micro pull between the support hand and the tool. And that's extra important for working on texture. That's when I really see a difference is with the flat stone, the anchoring, and you don't want like a big pull on the skin, but you can really focus in and get these little sort of micro pulls. So you can come along with the hand or the fingers, so you're getting just that little bit. Number three, you want to be really, really slow. So no raising through it. You want to go even slower than you think you need to be, and that is one of the other factors that I've noticed um, is really helpful for smoothing out skin texture. So we're keeping it flat, getting that anchor going, and going really slow secrets from my practice i'm telling you here now we always want to make sure that you're applying your products to clean skin right we know that and i've found that doing a really thorough oil cleanse is also amazing for texture if that's something that's appropriate for your skin type um, so really working the oil cleanser in helps to dissolve um, some of the debris clogged in the pores with a nice hot washcloth removal. Your skin will already feel so much smoother after that. With the washcloth removal, you get a little bit of light exfoliation. Then apply your tonic. This is the Wildling Empress Tonic, which the lymphatic activating sweet fern in there is really good for the skin texture. And on top of that, you get your Empress Oil. And getting just the right amount of oil is actually important for skin texture as well. So when you don't have enough oil, it doesn't glide properly. I still have a little balm over here. But when we have more oil, it's a bit of a slip and slide. I'm not getting any grip right now. So I'm gonna work that in. And you can experiment too with using a little bit more or less oil. You can even try it out on your forearm with an oil that's less precious to you to get that sensation of having the right amount of slip and a little bit of grip. So this is perfect now that I rubbed it in a little bit. So you would want just that right amount, super slow, super flat and anchoring and this can be used pretty much anywhere that i can think of on the face where you might have textural issues i'm just showing it in that one area because it's more about um, the technique than you know how, how it's specifically applied to different areas of course we always want to keep in mind if you're working on the under eye area where people sometimes have little bumpies and that kind of thing um, you want to be extra extra light with pressure always and if you have any other concerns about contraindications, you can check my highlights. And if you have any other questions, just pop them in the comments below.